Sir John A. Macdonald was a prominent Canadian politician who played a significant role in the country's early history. He was born in Glasgow, Scotland, in 1815 and emigrated to Canada with his family when he was five years old. He grew up in Kingston, Ontario, and became a lawyer before entering politics in the mid-19th century. Macdonald's political career was marked by several notable achievements, including his role in the formation of the Dominion of Canada in 1867. He served as the country's first Prime Minister from 1867 to 1873 and then again from 1878 to 1891. During his time in office, Macdonald oversaw the expansion of Canada's railway network and the establishment of a national police force, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. One of Macdonald's most controversial legacies was his government's policy of forced assimilation of Indigenous peoples through the residential school system. Indigenous children were taken from their families and sent to boarding schools where they were forbidden from speaking their own language or practicing their cultural traditions. The schools were widely criticized for their abuse and mistreatment of indigenous children, and their impact on indigenous communities is still felt today. Despite this dark chapter in Canadian history, Macdonald remains an important figure in the country's history, and his legacy is celebrated by many. He is often remembered for his role in creating a strong central government and for his efforts to build a national economy through trade and investment. He was also a skilled politician, known for his ability to negotiate and compromise with other leaders in order to achieve his goals. Macdonald's personal life was marked by tragedy and controversy. He was married to his first cousin, Isabella Clark, and the couple had two children who died in infancy. Isabella suffered from ill health and died in 1857. Macdonald remarried in 1867 to Susan Agnes Bernard, who was also his first cousin. The couple had one child, a son named Hugh John Macdonald, who would later follow in his father's footsteps and become a politician. Macdonald's career was not without its challenges. He faced criticism from political opponents and the press for his handling of the Pacific Scandal in 1873 in which members of his government were accused of accepting bribes from a railway company. Macdonald resigned as prime minister as a result of the scandal, but he returned to office five years later and remained in power until his death in 1891. In recent years, there has been renewed debate in Canada over Macdonald's legacy, with some calling for his statues and other memorials to be removed due to his role in the residential school system. Others argue that Macdonald's contributions to the country's formation and growth should be celebrated, even as his mistakes and shortcomings are acknowledged. In any case, there is no denying that John A. Macdonald played a pivotal role in shaping Canada's early history. His achievements and failures are a part of the country's story, and his legacy continues to be debated and discussed by Canadians today.